Blessings and welcome back to Truth Queen Be Told. Sorry, it's not Truth Queen Be Told here. That's what I am on Facebook. It's going to take me a little time to adjust to all this, guys. But anyway, this is Priestess Melissa. So good to see you again today. We're doing our love messages, TMR Thursday. So I've already finished up on Facebook. I'm going to do that little bit longer reading here. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys, and see what the Romance Angels, the Crazy Sexy Love Message Cards, and the Crystal Visions Tarot deck have to say for us today. Blessings, great one, and thank you so much for allowing this space to be clear, to receive the messages that are most needed for the collective and those watching this video. Thank you so much for the guidance and wisdom that comes through you always for our highest good. So it is, so it is, so it is. Beautiful guys. Awesome. How you doing out there today? Thank you so much. I am new on this channel, so I appreciate those who are coming back and everybody who's new here. I also appreciate if you would like this video, especially if you got anything from it today. Also, subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you feel inclined to comment and share the videos, guys. They're there to help each of us to grow and to learn. So if you get any wisdom, definitely allow it to come Ooh, wow true love and wedding wow so you could be dealing with someone right now that feels like this is the real deal and the reason i say that is look they're not in just regular clothes they're all dressed up and this could be somebody who you know is doing well for themselves maybe you both are but this looks like this is leading to marriage wow how cool is that? I love the energy of this. Lots of chills on this. So whoever is picking up on this message, maybe you're engaged. Maybe you're getting ready to get married. All of this, if you're feeling good about it, like it's true love and that it's leading in this direction, it absolutely is. If this person hasn't popped the question yet, I feel like that's coming pretty soon, guys. I don't know if somebody maybe is having a birthday pretty soon or whatever the case may be. Um, just giving you some impressions of what I'm feeling at the moment. But this is one of those kind of like um, how you would want to marry, you know, a good guy who has definitely, you know, taken that time to establish himself, if you will. And that's awesome because when you take the time to work on yourself and really bring yourself to a place to where you attract somebody that high quality, you know, you're doing something right for sure. You pulled this card because true and lasting love is here for you. If your question was about a specific person, then this card serves as validation of the relationship's divine nature. This individual has genuine love for you, and you both can overcome the issues that arise. This is especially the case if you express your feelings through attributes such as kindness, compassion and courtesy towards each other so if those things are already a part of your relationship kindness compassion and courtesy that's awesome guys i'm so happy for you that's the way it should be i love it all right it says for instance having honest conversations would be an expression of your true love even if it involves discussing uncomfortable topics, yeah, you, you're going to be together for the rest of your lives. You've got to be able to talk about things, right? What's bothering you? Or if you think, heck, even if you just, you know, found something cool and you think, hey, maybe this is a better way of doing this than what we've been doing. It. What do you think about that? You know, you got to be able to talk to one another. If you're currently seeking a relationship, this card offers you assurance that true love is on its way. Keep the faith that a wonderful relationship is destined to come to you. And don't compromise with an unsuitable partner. It is it is essential that you treat yourself well by taking excellent care of yourself. For the foundation of a true rela relationship is two people who cherish who they are. So it first starts with loving yourself is what it's saying, right? So when we learn how to love ourselves, when we learn how to treat ourselves well, talk to ourselves well, lift ourselves up, then we'll find that person or we'll come into connection with that person that is just like us in those similar ways, maybe not exactly the same way of doing things, but they are kind, they are compassionate, you know what I mean? And they are willing to talk to you. 
those are all very important for a relationship to go well because it's not just about how one person feels um, you should stay single if that's the case you know if you want to be in a relationship you have to take into consideration how everybody is feeling in the situation right very important okay so wow lots of commitment for sure i'm really digging the energy of this card because it definitely feels like you know yeah people fall in love all the time but do they always do it very consciously you know do they spend time first of all on themselves getting to know themselves before they get into a relationship it's so important to have that alone time that downtime just to kind of try different things uh hang out with friends or lots of chills on that guys um but when we do that when we um care about ourselves and we take that time for ourselves then we don't feel like we're constantly extending it outside of ourselves we really truly feel like that we're spending time with ourselves and getting to know ourselves and there's so much awesomeness to be discovered you guys so definitely take that time to get to know yourself before you get into a relationship so then you can kind of have some plans in place, like how do you want to move forward in the relationship? What kind of things do you plan to do once you get into the relationship, right? Ah, oh, this is so cool. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Beautiful. I like it. Yeah, it sounds like you've been through a lot in the past for sure. Maybe you've had your fair share of, you know, duds or, you know, whatever the case may be, whether you're a guy or a girl, you definitely have had some challenges in relationships in the past. All right, so what I'm seeing immediately, power sitting is the ace of pentacles here. This is like, yeah, God is having us like the jackpot, right? And we are seeing it. The hanged man in the upright position is definitely getting that new perspective. You've never been in a relationship like this before is what this feels like. You are done looking out for something else. Your shits have finally come in. That's what this card is generally about with the three of wands. You're waiting for those ships to come in. You're watching. You're waiting. Not any longer, though. You found the one, and that's how you are feeling within your headspace. In the past, lots of situations that perhaps didn't come up well, didn't turn out well, definitely, uh, what was the name of that one uh, movie? A string of unfortunate events or something like that. But maybe that's kind of how your life felt like beforehand, like you just couldn't catch a break, right? I can totally understand that left you feeling like you just you know weren't loving you weren't feeling first of all the love from others from the outside it's like literally where is the love you know what is going on here i know i'm not a bad person but why am i getting this lemony snickets kind of situation right uh so you're like all right fine i'm done with all of that over it we're walking away. We're not dealing with any more of that past BS anymore. I'm definitely ready to stand in my power. No more strength to those outside influences that don't bring me happiness and joy, right? And no more imbalance, right? This is the outside energy and how we're looking at it. No more imbalance, right? We're not dealing with any more of those situations from others any longer. The hopes, wishes, and fears, we used to fear that, you know, we wouldn't be able to live that beautiful, awesome life. It's kind of like, it reminds me that, um, what is the name of that group? Imagine Dragons. Everything's coming up, aces, aces, right? So you got that ace of pentacles. It's like, this is what we're seeing is that new perspective. We understand everything that's happened around us that has brought us to this point. And it was that loving ourselves, basically not being willing to put up with that anymore, walking away from all of it if you have to. And that's what you have to do sometimes It's just totally say, all right, I cut my losses. This is really how, you know, this situation is going down. Well, I take my energy completely away from it. And then you said, in the future, no more lying, cheating, stealing, dealing with those kinds of people. That is over with. You are not dealing with that anymore. 
you are not dealing with any more sleepless nights. You're not going to be dealing with any more people trying to manipulate you, have you confused, and things of that nature. We are over that situation, sister, right? Or brother, bruh. All right, so have you see it? Well, we're not dealing with these situations anymore. No, true love, wedding, all of those kinds of things. And even if you're not exactly in this kind of relationship yet, I feel like that this opportunity is going to be coming up for you. And it is an opportunity for you to really move past everything that you've ever known before. It is going to feel a little different. It always does. Ooh. Yeah, be mindful. Now, this says of your money, honey, but this could be where you're investing, where you're putting your energy, right? Really be aware of that. Are you spending above your means? Are you giving too much kind of, when, you know, in the means of love to those who really aren't supporting you and being there the way that they should be? All right, avoiding the reality of your bank account or what you really have to offer, perhaps, or what someone else has to offer even. Shopping to numb any negative feelings or pain. It may be time to clean up your relationship with money. Let go of the fear of shame around your finances and take responsibility for your future today. Now, this could also relate to if you have some kind of, you know, um, devil energy, you know, like you like to spend a lot and you just, you know, that you shouldn't be doing that. So when you get into these, you know, emotional type of situations, instead of emotional spending, emotional eating, but things of that nature, it's really about dealing with those situations so that we can be more um, proactive in how we handle and approach these situations instead of things just happening and then we deal with them in the moment, right? Seek guidance where needed and keep the big picture of your financial well-being in mind. Remember, money saved is money earned. Now, again, if this is a relationship, it feels like you're definitely leveling up, getting into a better relationship for you. Um, because I see, again, a lot of energy just around feeling like more opulence, if you will, kind of thing adventure awaits it says break up your routine and live a little sweetheart it is time for some adventure plan a vacation take a spontaneous drive a change of pace and scenery will do you good and especially if you're in a new relationship right definitely have lots of fun get all of that stuff out of the way before you get too settled down and have your kids and everything so take that time before you get into relationship and then have fun once you're in relationship before you you know develop too many responsibilities and maybe that could take a hit on your money kind of thing right so don't be having to don't be popping out too many babies too quickly perhaps and I say that because I got rabbits here all right plus you never know whom you will meet or what experience you'll have along the way, a fabulous new friend or partner, a spectacular meal at a charming local joint, the vista of a lifetime, adventure awaits. All right, tell the truth. Now let's stick come out in the reverse. So be honest about how you really feel and what you really want in your life. So true love can come in if it hasn't yet. You know, love yourself. Make sure you're taking that time out to get to know who you are before you get intertwined with someone, right? So face what you need to here. Communicate with integrity. You may need to level with someone. This person could even be you. You are saying you're, you may be saying you're fine when you don't mean it. Are you swallowing your needs because you don't want to rock the boat? When we hide the truth, it eventually comes out in destructive ways. Act with integrity and say what is on your mind while honestly, while, while honesty may lead to short-term discomfort, your long-term peace and happiness are worth it. Yeah, so if you're not going in the right direction, not with the right person, definitely don't continue along that path. You know if it feels right or not, and this is the rest of your life, so choose wisely. All right, especially in love, guys, and no more right no more of that deceitfulness, no more lying, cheating, and stealing. We're not dealing with that. We're walking away from anything that doesn't any lo doesn't serve us any longer, guys, and that really is best for you, even if in the short term it doesn't feel so good. All right, have a wonderful Friday Eve, guys, and don't forget to like. If you got anything from this video, subscribe and hit the bell notification. And also, if you feel inclined, share and comment. I'd love to hear what you're 
feelings are about uh, the reading, especially if it resonates. All right. Thank you so much. Tia Moore. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.